Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? And welcome back to your favorite high school news outlet, Lake Street News. I'm your host, Evan. And I'm your host, Owen. Tonight, we've got stories about marijuana dispensaries, the T-Berg Farmer's Market, the State Theater, George Santos, and more. Ithaca is gaining yet another <laughs> smoking hot dispensary this year called Aspire. Aspire is owned by Challenge Workforce Solutions, which is an Ithaca-based nonprofit agency that helps those with disabilities gain employment. However, there is not a complete opening timeline available yet because of the design and billet point has not been completed. This will be the second dispensary in Ithaca after William Jane opened just a little over a month ago. Speaking of plants, the Trumansburg Farmer's Market is back and better than ever for the 2023 season, and organizers say that the weekly community event is going fast. There are three dozen vendors planning to be at the market this year, up from about 20. Uh, the market will run uh, every Wednesday from May to October from 4 to 7 p.m. at the Village Park on Route 96. Market manager Natalie Barris said that Trumansburg is growing and we're growing with it, end quote. Uh, I don't know if I trust Schumansburg for my food, but uh, okay. Uh, anyways, the State Theater just received $100,000 in funding from the state to improve the theater. The money comes as a part of a $5 million package in the state budget providing support to 13 historic theaters in upstate New York. Director D Doug Levine says that the extra money will go not only to improving the quality of the theater for both performers and patrons, but also to the state's dedicated staff. Ithacans can catch several more shows before the State Theater closes for the summer. Everyone's favorite lying congressman, George Santos, has just been arrested. A 13-count indictment was unsealed today in the U.S. District Court, court charging George Santos with seven counts of wire fraud, three counts of money laundering, one count of theft of public funds, and two counts of making materially false statements to the House of Representatives. U.S. Attorney Breon Peace said that, this, uh, said that, quote, this indictment seeks to hold Santos accountable for various alleged fraudulent schemes and brazen misrepresentations, end quote. I'm personally very happy about this because it means that our government will have no more liars. Tompkins County Medical Examiner's Office has ruled the death of a 71-year-old man who was found deceased on March 5th, a homicide. The Sheriff's Office has taken Larry Walrad Jr., a 52-year-old man from Lansing, into custody. He has been charged with second-degree murder as of May 12th, and he may face 25 years in prison for committing murder in the second degree. This weekend, the IPD arrested and charged a local man, Ankit Kirtania, on theft charges relating to an internet scamming scheme. According to Police Sergeant Kevin Slattery, Kirtania is responsible for scamming over $100,000 from vulnerable citizens and the elderly. Kirtania was charged with second degree grand larceny, but was released on a bond. Thank you for watching Lake Street News. Have a good week. Yeah. Bro, can you believe Ronan? Yeah, oh my god. You know what's even crazier? Jet fuel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy about it? You know what's crazy about jet fuel? What do you guys think about jet fuel? Oh, what? It, well, tell me.